motivational moment with Minister Dr. Yes. What's up? You good today? I am well. Let's dive into the word on today. Stay on the wall. We're coming again this week from the book of Nehemiah. The book of Nehemiah can be found in the Holy Bible, the Old Testament. I will be reading from the book of Nehemiah, the sixth chapter, verses verses 15 and 16 and i'm going to be reading the living bible version and it reads the wall was finally finished in early september just 52 days after we had begun when our enemies and the surrounding nations heard about it they were frightened and humiliated and they realized that the work had been done with the help of our god stay on the wall we've been talking the past couple weeks about nehemiah the jew that went back home to his homeland of israel to help rebuild the wall around the city um the purpose of the wall is for protection for the city during war and to keep the enemy out well throughout nehemiah's journey with his organized plan and his team to help rebuild the wall there were several distractions um, from various people. The enemy sent various people his way to distract him. And he kept telling them, I'm going to stay on the wall. I'm not coming down. But guess what? He finished his assignment. So I want to encourage you today. Stay on the wall. You will finish what you have started. If you have stopped, start back again. Stay on the wall. Just like Nehemiah completed his assignment. His task to rebuild the wall. He finished and after he finished, the enemy could do nothing but be humiliated and to be frightened. The enemy is intimidated by you. The enemy is jealous of you. The enemy doesn't want to see you succeed. The enemy does not want you to, to complete the work that God has put inside of you. So shame the enemy. <laughs> be not deceived, for God is not mocked. Whatsoever, whatsoever a man soweth, therefore shall he also reap. <laughs> do good succeed you will complete your assignment stay on the wall motivational moment with minister dr yes